Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at upgrading the Clevo P157 SMA laptop. Um, this is found in as the product used by a number of sort of small system integrators, um, so companies like uh, possibly, I can't remember if as it's a US firm, but Falcon, or here in the UK you have PC Specialist and Chill Blast, and companies like that use these chassis. Um, and this is one that I use for a lot of my testing. Um, so what I have here for it is, at the minute it is fitted with an 870M, but I also have another pair of MXM modules. Here I have a 880M and an 860M. Um, so these can be swapped into the laptop to upgrade, or in the case of the 860M, downgrade it. So what we need to do is we're going to just strip out the graphics card from the machine, swap over the thermal solution and that will give us a different graphics card for our testing. So first of all what we need to do is flick these over and lift one second. Lift the battery up here just to get that disconnected. It helps if I actually unlock that one. So with the battery removed, there are two screws. I've actually already removed one of them. There should be one here, and then a second here at the back. So with that one undone, we should now be able to slide this top panel up and remove that. Now from here we have four screws here to take off the cooler for the CPU if we want to change CPUs. It is a Torx, um, Torx screwdriver required for the CPU socket. We also have access to our memory modules here and here we have the graphics card. So we have to go through this in a specific sequence to change things. So first of all, what we have to do is we have three screws. One you can't see particularly well from this camera angle, but it's hidden down here. We undo that one first. And then these two on the top here. And then the four for the GPU cooler. Now with those undone, we can now use these two tabs here, so first this one here to take off the cooling for the GPU itself, and then this second one to take off the smaller secondary heatsink and heat pipe, which covers the memory. Remember that screw there which we've taken out as well. So with that done, what we now need Flathead screwdriver will do the trick, or I'm going to use in this case just this pry tool as it will get in there. So these standoffs also hold the MXM module down. So if we undo these, that will release the MXM module. We'll see it lifts up like that, and then we can slide it up and out. And there we can see our 870M our 860M and our 880M and the difference on there being the number of memory chips and the number of corresponding memory channels. These are all actually uh, Kepler based parts so you'll see it's the same actual physical GPU die. Uh, we just have different size chips for each one. So to slot the next one in 
simply a case of pushing the module into position, pushing down, screwing it down with the standoffs. And then attaching the heat sink. So first of all, the memory heat sink. Then the GPU heat sink. I will reapply the thermal paste to this later. And then just refitting the seven screws on there and refixing the base of the laptop. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more and keep in touch with what we're doing. And thanks for watching.